As authorities continue to investigate Sunday's murder-suicide that claimed the lives of Josh Powell and his two young boys, they say that Powell carried out the crime only after giving it plenty of thought. We believe he planned this event out, and he had taken certain steps. He had taken boxes of toys and books and donated them to the Goodwill sometime over the weekend. So this is definitely a deliberate, planned-out event. Powell and the two boys all died of smoke inhalation. The boys also suffered chop injuries that contributed to their deaths. And investigators say they found the hatchet that was used near the bodies. Powell also used an accelerant to make the home burn more quickly. We found two five-gallon cans of gas. Uh, One of them was with the bodies. The other one, we believe, was spread throughout the house. There was accelerants throughout the whole entire house. Powell has long been a person of interest in the disappearance of his wife, Susan, several years ago. And just last week, a judge denied his request to have custody of the boys. They had been staying with their maternal grandparents, who showed reporters their room Monday and spoke about the crime. He's disturbed. He just disturbed. Uh, the, the act that he did was cowardly, a desperate act. And he murdered the two grandchildren, two innocent grandchildren. Susan Powell went missing in 2009. I don't know what he did to my daughter. I don't know that how, but I know he's responsible for her being gone. The boys left on Sunday for what was supposed to be a supervised visit with their father. A social worker was with them, but Powell locked her out of the house. Moments later, with the two boys inside, the home went up in flames. Brian Thomas, the Associated Press.